You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Real World After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424 256 1729. That's 424 256 1729. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Real World she After Show. Well, I'm, I'm in need. need. I'm a traveling friend in need. Oh, oh she a go digger. Way over town. That digs on me. Uh, uh. Oh. Hey. Yo, what up, After Buzzes? Bing is for doing, and we are here doing another After Buzz TV after show for The Real World Season 28, Episode 6, How to Play the Game. It's your boy DJ Jesse Janity, joined in studio by the one, the only, Roxy Stryer. Hello! Playing the actual DJ today, though, running the booth, is uh, Marissa. What's up, guys? We're a little short in studio tonight, though. We're missing short our buddies. Staff. Our buddies are... Jet setting. Right so now. fancy, huh? They're they're all over the United States right now. Just traveling. But it's alright, we're here. We're here dedicated, loving the show, loving this cast. It's a great real world cast, I think. When episodes so are much to talk about. so cringeworthy that they're hard to watch, you know it's great TV. This is the second one that you've had trouble watching. At my Jesse, turn it off. No, I'm not kidding, Jess. Turn it off. You got you gotta change the channel. He yeah. looks at me, he's like, Are you okay? <laughs> I, I like can't it, it, I can't stomach it. Yeah. <laughs> My no, thing is, is you know, uh, watching Naya, she's it's entertaining. Like I like her for the show because we've never really seen that this type of character on the real world before. If this was scripted television, her character would be amazing. Well, no, reality TV wise, her character is amazing. No, I know, but I'm just saying, like, uh, this is a character oh, that you only that, hear about, like, that somebody wrote. You right. know, I've never <laughs> met somebody like this before. And I'm, I'm praying, I'm hoping, and on everything that she went into it thinking that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That this was and all that planned. This really isn't her personality, and she kind of is the type of girl that said, "You know what? F it. I'm just gonna go play this role." You know, I was just saying to you uh, right before it went on. It kind of reminds me of Frank. From San Diego, when yep. when we were like, "Yo, this kid is batshit crazy. Like he's throwing things. He's psycho." And then he came in to talk to us, and now obviously we're really close with him, and he's a friend of ours. But he also just was like a really chill, down to earth guy, and I was really confused how mm -hmm. how something like that could happen. Well, you know, for me the difference is is with Naya, the, the way she acts, it's so manipulative. I never really got manipulative from Frank. Yeah, that's true. Frank, it was just like, whoa. I mean, we don't know because we haven't met her yet. So maybe we can give her the benefit of the doubt that this is a character and she's putting on a complete act. But if this is who she really is, uh-oh, girl. Yeah. Bitches beware. Uh, bitches beware uh, is sure right. I mean, first of all, we found out today that... Um, you know, Naya wants to be a journalist, and she's writing a book called How to Play the Game, the Ultimate Playbook on How to Find, Date, and Keep Professional Athletes. I just don't understand <laughs> go ahead, go why. Ahead. <laughs> I, 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 there's nothing else for me to say, actually. You know what? I just don't understand, period. That's the whole understand. sentence. I do understand this, though. I do think I agree with Marlon. I, I, I do think the book will sell. I think that that's a... Especially in this day and age where, you know, you got Kanye West singing about gold diggers. You got uh, the basketball wives. I mean, it, it is an age of find a really rich man and keep him. Um, you know, I'd like to see the Beyonce's in the world who step up and say, oh, I have my own career going. But, you know, Jay-Z got his career. Let's be in a career together. To me, it's embarrassing as a woman that there's another woman out there that would write this book. 
I am just so driven and self motivated that there's no man that is paying for me. But there's in her no mind, man that I'm leaning on. There's I, I'm splitting the bill with you if I'm not paying for you. Like don't don't categorize but, you me. Know, so well, I, I I don't like that there's somebody out there, especially with seeing her work ethic when we see her at her job, which we'll yeah. talk about later. Knowing that and how that's the author of the book disgusts me at my core. It's that, it will, you it know, will what, absolutely that was sell. a great that was a great uh, point. Uh, you know, because I have I have a friend who you know I have, to, I have two friends. Uh, well, actually, I have me, me and Nicola have a, a very close friend who is very different in the sense of she always tells us no because Nicolette's very I'm gonna you know I want to pay my half I don't need no one taking care of me you know yeah. Nicolette's all about her own uh, and her friends always say no let the man take care of you that's what the man is for let him do this you know but at the same time that girl who's telling us that she works she works her ass off yeah you know so uh, it is interesting because she you know to see if you wrote the book because I mean, that's a book that I would write, you know, think of to write, like, because that's what everyone's doing now. So it's right. a smart idea to write the book. But then when you see the work ethic behind it, you know, and I mean, even to, I'm not going to make the judgment that she was on the phone with the sugar daddy, but the fact that Jordan keeps calling her out, that Jordan kind of peeps game. He he understands that what Nia is trying to do to him, and I think. He's trying to throw it back on her, and it's really getting to her, obviously, I mean, as we see at the end. There's a complete difference between chivalry, you know, like wanting a guy to pay for you, wanting him to open a door for right. you, and not wanting to work. Hoary. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> not wanting to work because you're lazy and you want a guy to do it for you. Mm -hmm. We have worked so incredibly hard as women to be able to do the things that we're doing today run for president that's insane and get so close you know or whatever it is um ceos of companies uh, being uh, having all professional sports uh, women's leagues whatever it is there's so many things that we've worked so hard don't for don't set us and back it's, and it's people like this that don't appreciate that you know like and there's nothing wrong with finding dating and keeping a professional athlete there's something wrong with setting out to do so right well Yes, yes. There, I mean, it, you know, it's you kind of a, yeah. It's a danger. I mean, you know, you have to word it correctly because I, I don't find anything wrong with someone saying no. I want a man who has money. I want a man who has a car. I want a man that you know. I don't have to feel like I'm going to be struggling. There's right. nothing wrong with that part of it. But at this, at the end of the day, have something of your own. That's that what I'm saying. When you see say, that yeah. she can't even figure out the tables. I mean, I've cocktail waitress and and bartender whatever my whole life. You, there are the tables and there's a sheet of paper and they have the numbers on it. You seem like a really smart yeah, girl. How was you working at STK? Yeah, I don't know. I don't Such know. A, uh, all right, so th I mean, basically, what we're talking about is Naya goes to work at Pizza Schmizza, which maybe she should have worked at the ice cream place with the other girls. That's easier, you know. What I mean, you just pour the ice cream. Yeah, but she wanted to be with Jordan. Out. I honestly like I think so. Totally agree with that. Um, I mean, she looks like she's overworking. We find out that she worked only 30 minutes before she told Brett that she was feeling sick, and then she went home. No, uh, no, sorry. She said she was feeling sick, so asked where the liquor store was, <laughs> so then she could go home. Just a slight alteration there in your... But keep going. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, so Get then right, Naya Jess. goes on to say, uh, I don't want to work. I don't need to work because I have friends who give me money. I mean, you know, maybe I just have it all wrong because maybe there are... Roxy, we can't hang out because you ain't be paying me. I mean, yeah, she... Right now... <laughs> you are just the most amazing friend. Everyone got to pay you to be your friend. Regardless of what we're saying right now, Naya's laughing all the way to the bank. That's true. At the like, end of the day. girl, you know, girl's got it going on. She, She's making so much money. And when anybody's talking about the show, what are they talking about? Naya. So if this is a character she's put on, She's laughing all the way to the bank, and she's the most famous one that's coming out of the show. That's true. Psychotic, but laughing all the way to the bank. Like, there's no other way to phrase that. I, I mean, just wonder if she's going to take it uh, a little too far, because I feel like tonight she almost took it a little too far. Uh, and it's funny, because next week is the episode that we went to the after almost, show for. Almost, Jess? Yeah, I mean... Uh, it was way yeah. too far. I, I mean... Way See, I just watched far. too much Bad Girls Club, so it's, like, normal to me. But this is a different situation. Bad Girls Club, it's like you know you have to go into that house thinking like a warrior. It, the real world, it's not like that. The real world's chill. Like, it's the, you're going to get to know these people. Like, you don't go 
looking for a fight in the real world. I never think a guy should lay his hands on a woman. And vice versa, I never think a woman should lay her hands on a man. I, yeah, you know, like, I don't understand. <clears throat> if if the situation had been reversed, Jordan would have been thrown off the show yep. 100%. Yep. She literally was choking him, banging his head with a clock, like, I, Pouring liquor down his throat while he was laying down, like. Like she is everything that feminists hate, and that's not to say I'm a feminist. I'm just a woman, and I can't stand the actions. Well, before we get to that, let's keep talking about uh, Naya at work. Um, one thing that I did, I mean, I really like Jordan. Uh, I mean, maybe the editing just maybe it's flipped, and maybe Naya is the nice one, and Jordan really is the asshole. Doubt it, but. Um, one thing I didn't like that Jordan did do was talk to Brett when he went down to go get the pineapple yeah, I agree juice, with that. Uh, and he was talking, you know, trash about Naya, calling her a gold digger. And this is your like boss. Her. Yeah, like that's just inappropriate to do that. I completely agree. Honestly, like we talk about, I really like Jordan. He seems like the only person on the show that I would be friends with. He seems like somebody that I could kick it with. I understand him. I feel like I get it. It, I don't understand how nobody else does and like I feel like I'm living in a little crazy world like yeah like what the hell and I look at um, obviously we're always looking at our YouTube comments our iTunes comments and I look at them and what you guys are saying and you and everybody's like why do you guys like Jordan so much and I'm like am I seeing something yeah. that no one else is seeing <laughs> like like are we watching a different show than everybody else it can't be so. You know what? It goes down to the even like the simplest thing where I turned to you and I said, wow, he just reminds me. Maybe it's because we're from the East Coast. He just reminds me of a Bostonian uh, in the sense of the dog's ear got hurt, you know? And uh, if that happened to my dog, honestly, like, and I love, everyone knows oh, Rex, me. Baby. I love my dog. You can go back to some old AfterBuzz shows. Rex has been a star on the, on the One time Rex peed on my foot while we were doing the show. Sh he took a shit. <laughs> I took a shit. <laughs> <laughs> but that's beyond that. Uh, but, I mean... I love my dog, but at the same time, it was a you know a little it was a little overdramatic to get two staples in the ear, uh, a collar thing. Like I understood where Jordan was coming from. Yeah, he took it too far, saying uh, but staple I also it understand. yourself. Yeah, no, don't staple no, don't it. <laughs> you know, like maybe slab some Neosporin on there and see how it goes. If it's not good in an hour or two, then you know bring to the to the vet but it's i think his mind just thinks so yeah can he be like a little cocky sometimes yeah that but at, no, at he the says, end, the way he's raised you either win or you lose right and he wants to win but also at the same time look at why he is that way yeah i mean we found out a lot of different uh things about him but before we get to that um naya working at the uh pizza shop we then go to see her in the middle of her shift, get up, walk around the co corner, that was and stay the, that on was the, the phone. That was the next day. The next day. Uh, talk on the phone. Brett, the manager, comes out, stands in front of her. She says, this can't be real. Yeah. This, like, but are you serious? Naya finished her entire conversation. <laughs> As if Brett was not there, did not acknowledge her, and then was like, yo, so it was my sister's birthday. I'm, I'm sorry about it. Just wishing her a happy birthday. Plainly, she was not on the phone with her sister. <laughs> And also, like, so call her after work. You don't, you don't do that. Right. It, and you're, you're claiming you have had all these other jobs. How did you not get fired? Or, and then you call your boss a bitch behind yeah. your back. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Um, so, yeah, she just, you know, she's into a different type. You know not what kind of work she would be? If you want to go search out for a man with money, you know what else I recommend for you is you should be couponing. I feel like she and I would be really good at couponing. You stay at home. It's not a lot. You, you know, you just get a whole bunch of coupons. You clip them out, and you look for the best deal. I feel like, I feel like she'd be really good at. Could Have you, you ever picture seen Naya coupon? doing that? I absolutely could. Sitting at home, you can do whatever you want at home. But at the same time, your little project is on the table. You keep going back to it, and then you can have. M Mad groceries, mad free things. She likes going shopping. I feel like this is what we need to get her involved in. She would never in her life sit down and fucking coupon. <laughs> that you coupon, call it. You coupon her. No, I mean, this girl's like the laziest person. She doesn't, want, or so she seems. Yeah, she, she wants to sit right. and smoke her cigarette and go and drink her thing and have somebody else make money for her and then bring it home. Well, and if you guys are lazy like Naya, uh, it's really simple. You guys don't even have to walk to the computer anymore to watch us. True you guys can watch from your home. phones or your iPads. If you have iPhone, the Android, whatever phone you got, 
you can stream us live at AfterBuzzTV.com. Also, right after doing that, make sure you guys hit us up on iTunes and subscribe, rate, and leave us a comment. Please, guys, get us to number one on iTunes. Download, subscribe, and rate. Um, all right. So, Jordan meets this girl, Molly. Molly with an I. Molly with an I. Not cute. Uh, I, I wrote cute question mark. Like, cute? I, I couldn't tell. She was definitely, she wasn't homely looking, but she's the type Marlon of girl. and her were both like, she was so hot. And I'm like. She's a girl, mm-hmm. you look at her, like if someone's like, well, what does she look like? You're like, well, she's not ugly. Yeah. You know? I don't know. But you don't say she's cute. She's so very it's like bland. That, that in between. It, it, it struck me funny that Jordan went for her. It didn't seem like that would be her type. Not that I, because Jordan and I are best buds and I know his type. No, I have no idea. But like, <laughs> she just seemed a little bland. Well, and then. Uh, she they they plan this whole date and it's funny because Jordan just calls people Jordan just calls out bullshit and he sits there and says to her you're a girl so you're not gonna really call me at eight o'clock you're gonna be late you're gonna do this and she's like no 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 come to find out Jordan was prepped ready to go for, on his little date yeah but you know what why didn't he go to her place I didn't understand why was she coming there I uh, no idea I mean I would assume probably cameras or something like that you know uh, I'm sure they're in the middle of yeah, everything if he was so concerned about her being late he should have been like pick you up at 8 but they must be he must be closer to everything in the city oh yeah that's true she's probably out in the burbs um, you know so she swagged out she stood Jordan up and I loved every time Jordan would call her he was either reading a newspaper or then he was reading playing a book pong and playing ping pong <laughs> playing ping pong um, weird montage but then he says 9.30, she gets the axe. Yeah. And he, and, and he sticks to it. Here's what really bothered me is that Naya and Jessica were so happy. I was sitting there feeling so bad for him. And I don't care which person in the house this had been, even if it had been Naya. I would have been like, that sucks. Like, that person just got stood up. Have a heart. Yeah, or not even like, not even to have a heart. It's like whatever, because even if you don't care about him. But like to be sitting there like, ha, 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 ha. Like, oh my God, you, sw- like... Even Jessica, like, you're sweating this guy so bad. You're making him famous. You're making him popular. You're making him the cool guy because everything out of your mouth is about Jordan. It's like that thing in me. So not only is he number one when he does things, but he's number one on your mind because you can't stop talking. Yeah, it's like, you know, when Regina George gets hit by the bus and Mean Girls and and she's like, well, I guess the most hated people get more flowers or whatever it is. It's like that, you know, like the more hated you are, I guess the more you're on somebody's mind, the more you're consuming the thoughts. Like the way that we're like ragging on Naya and she's all we talk about. They all hate Jordan and it's all they talk about. Mm Mm-hmm. So it's weird how that's, like, so all-consuming when you hate somebody so much. I just don't understand why they hate him so much. Like, Jessica, what the hell do you care? What do you care? Well, and, and the thing is You're is happy that, with your little Tyler well, boyfriend. here's the difference between Naya and, and Jordan in the sense of Jordan isn't doing things to people to aggravate them. He's doing what he does, and they're commenting on the things that he does. Naya is setting a diabolical plan. And they all know it. Yeah. And she tells them all. And my thing is, is you guys are so aggro. Oh, I'm so over the drama. I'm so over the bullshit. Call her out. Or tell Jordan. Okay. Or end it. Like, stop saying, oh, I wish one of them. Jordan isn't sitting here knowing that, I mean, I'm sure he has an idea of what Naya's trying to do. Have you ever been with somebody who's talking crap? And then you start to realize, like, what do they say about me? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I wonder. Like, all these they, Naya keeps being like, yeah, but I'm going to do this. And they must be like, oh, she's, they're all like, she's crazy. Like, we like her, but she's batshit. She will turn around and do it back to you in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Don't you even think otherwise for a second. Well, yeah, because look at even when Molly calls, uh, she says she feels bad. And Naya lies and says, oh, he's really upset. And I get why she did that because she was just wanting to be a dick. But then when they went out to go get drinks, she didn't tell him. Yeah. Or maybe we didn't see it. Maybe we didn't see it, but it was just like, I don't know. It was just weird. Even even Jessica, who likes Naya, like, kind of looked right up at the camera, which is where Naya was standing, and she goes, Naya, you're, you're fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody knows. And Bird said the same thing. Um, well, so th- uh, then one of the nights, they go out, part- they're partying after a work shift at Pizza Schmitza. 
And Johnny yells at Jordan for standing up on the bar stool. First of all, Johnny, why? Like, first of all, you're from Boston. They took <laughs> mad shots. Like, we saw them take about six. You know, they were like boring shots. The the worst thing he could do is stand on the bar, really. Like, I feel like he could have been yelling at people. He could have been annoying. He's standing on a chair at a bar. And if the manager isn't saying anything about it, why are you? And why are you saying it's disrespectful to the locals? Yeah, Johnny got, like, really butthurt about it. And I'm like, what? And my thing that bothers me is, like, nobody can look at that and be like, dude, you're overreacting. Like, why are you doing that? You know you're going to antagonize him. Calm down. So Jordan goes out there thinking it's a joke. Thinking it's a joke. Johnny gets really overly sensitive about it. And Marlon starts yelling at Jordan, calling him a prick. And everyone starts ganging up on Jordan. And it's just like, what? Wait a minute. Did I miss something there? There must be something we're not seeing. It must be. Because <laughs> I really like Johnny, too, you know? And he seems like a pretty rash. But that was a really weird moment It was a really him. strange moment. All of a sudden, I go, is he kidding? Because he's like, get off the bar. And I, like, I couldn't tell whether he was like, about to either. smile. And then Jordan comes over to like give him a hug. And Johnny's like, get off me. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I was like, oh, he's serious. <laughs> Right, and then, you know, so then they're walking, and Naya, her little plan, she goes, and she's consoling Jordan, Marlon's getting upset about it, and it's like, Marlon, you know, you aggravated me at the beginning, then I kind of liked you, and this episode, and I I already know next episode is the reason why I I had a distaste for Marlon, is the next episode, but... Because I just feel there's some people when you look at them and you're like, you know better than that. Yeah. I feel like Marlon is really smart and just how can you not look at the big picture? And I don't know if he's thinking with his dick as far as like being upset that Jordan and Naya kind of have a thing and he wanted that. I don't know. And then we, I found out, I mean, even tonight when uh, Marlon tried to come at Jordan, like, how come you haven't smashed Vanessa? Oh, I can't smash because of my religion. What? No, he was saying he it, he said that that doesn't go that way for me. Like he couldn't get laid. Like he wasn't having random girls. I didn't think he said his religion. I thought he said his religion. No, I thought he said he couldn't smash because it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't fall that way for me sometimes. Like he he wasn't getting as much Play? attention as I mean honestly. It's not I think that it's, serious. I think it's mature of Jordan that he isn't sleeping with every single girl that gives it you know he is that a really good looking guy yeah. Small dick yeah and... like they're gonna make fun of him for whatever you you don't have to sleep with every girl you meet to be cool you know like mm-hmm. it reminds me so much of high school like oh did you get laid oh my god like how many girls did you sleep with or college even whatever it is you know that's not cool right and jordan's not trying to impress anybody like if you don't like somebody that much maybe you don't want to sleep with them mm-hmm I think it's romantic and sweet. Oh, God. Okay, but um, my, my <laughs> when you were talking about Marlon, I'm realizing my only issues with Marlon stem from things with Naya. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. but I do like him. But I, Well, no, because that one was with Johnny. What, what one? When he was calling Jordan a prick because... Oh, yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, like... The, the, but most the, of them, yeah. The, yeah, whenever I'm like, oh, I really don't like this guy, that I was like, what am I missing? This is like, when I don't like him, I'm like, it has to do with Naya. And I don't know. I think maybe he crushes on her hard. Or she's rubbing off a little bit. Yeah, getting, or something. She's getting into his head. Yeah, because he seems like a cool guy, but then like with her, he's so irrational. Mm-hmm. So I don't get it. We're gonna have to have Marlon in because he's gonna have to plead, explain that. Plead his case. Um, so then Jordan and Naya go out, and Marlon go out. Um, he sees Molly, tells her she's cut. He starts talking to all these girls. Meets Vanessa. And I thought it was funny that they it could have been the way it was edited, but it looked like he was talking to all these girls, and Naya went up to Marlon and was like, I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you were. <laughs> but then we see the two of them linking arms again, walking home, linking arms, always linking. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, like, maybe that's her move. Like, how do I how do I get to him? Let's link. You know, why are they always linking arms? Clearly Jordan doesn't initiate it. I don't think it's really a game. I think she plays the game because she doesn't want to look crazy on TV. She feels like if I make it seem like I'm playing a game, I won't look crazy on TV. Because at least I know that I'm acting this way instead of just... Yeah. Or I I, I don't know. It's weird. So then they go to the go-karts and Jordan brings Vanessa. I think, yeah, Vanessa planned the trip for them, I think. Really? I didn't get get that. Um, But Jordan wins the first round. Um, and then Jessica and Bird sit out the second round, and then Jessica and Bird are talking mad trash about Jordan in front of Vanessa, and I'm just like, if Jordan did that to one of, if Jordan did that to Jessica, to Tyler, right, 
and said that stuff in front of Tyler, the whole house would be like, dude, that's messed up, man. Like, you know, Jessica, like, come on, man. Here's the, Especially yeah. Bird. She'd be like, that is so rude. Why did you do that to my friend? That my is friend. So, that's just disrespectful. Okay, but one of the, the <laughs> best quotes I thought, and they were so pissed about it. He's always in first. He's Jordan. There's nothing that kid can't do. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so mad about it? Like, <laughs> He's oh he's always in first. He's Jordan. There's nothing that kid cannot do. You must hate Michael Jordan. Why don't you, I mean, yeah. like, why don't you just say <laughs> he's always in first? Like he's winning. You know, like right. I'm glad he's my friend. Like I, well, you know, the best kind of friends to have are the ones that are on top. So you can be on top also, right. and like all rise together instead of. I just I think it's amazing. He has one freaking hand, and he's like an unbelievable athlete. That's not something to be pissed or bitter about. That's something to be like, wow, look at you. Compliment him on it, something. You know, we look, even hear earlier in the episode, Naya with her comment about meeting women, and she's like, just keep your hand in your pocket and your mouth closed. Like, yeah. what a bitch. I think it's amazing what he's able to do. And he, like, is so proud of himself and keeps talking about it. He's like, I'm going to live this way forever. I don't want to change it because I wouldn't be who I am. And I think that's totally true. I think it's just, it's just awesome. And even when he's talking to Vanessa about it, he's like, it's so ugly. Like, you can tell he's upset about it. If I were Vanessa, I would have been like, I don't think it's ugly. I think it's beautiful. And that sounds emotional and stupid, but I think it's incredible. Okay, I well, really do. Okay, I feel you. It does, I mean, I don't know about beautiful. But no, like, no, I feel what you're saying. I get you know what, what I mean? Like, because, and you know what's funny? Before he said, when I have my hands in my pocket or when I take pictures, I have someone on my left side. Yeah. I noticed it when everyone was ganging up on him and I had her hand around him. He had both of his hands in his pocket. And that is a nervous tendency. That's if, if you feel intimidated the first thing people usually go to do. I mean, sometimes it can be a comfort, but usually it's put their hands in their pocket. So to see, hear him talk, say that, you know, it was really kind of interesting to kind of get to know him a little more and to kind of see, okay, that's why you do some of the things. And I feel like if the roommates took the time to kind of so try to understand, out, yeah, you know, it's kind of like, oh, well, he acts like such a big kid because. He does have an insecurity about his hand. He does, uh, you know, have issues with his family or whatever it is. You know, take the time to get to know somebody before you just, oh, I don't like him. He's so dumb and he wins. Like, it just sounds mad sour. Um, but I will say this, though. Naya did have one good comment that was hilarious. Um, and it's so wrong. But uh, when Naya was sucking her thumb... And they were like, oh, and if you're wondering why I'm sucking my thumb, it's because I'm preparing myself for Jordan. That was actually really hilarious. Maybe I just don't like her, so I didn't think it was funny. I, you know, you know, but I, but I got to give fair play for fair play. That was that was actually a really good I one. thought my favorite line was, I only eat footlongs with huge bank accounts. Um, that was a negative on your part, Naya. That sounded disgusting. And all okay. I pictured was a footlong dick being slammed into your mouth. You're, that, I mean, that's like a, with money being thrown on your face, right? Like that's a porn, that's a stripper. <laughs> like, yeah. at the end of the day, like just wads of money being thrown on you with a foot long, while you're eating a foot long dick. Really? Like, there's no way you can make that sound like nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, how, how do you phrase that? So, no, you no. can't. No, I can't. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, then she goes. You know, if you want girls to like you, keep your hand in your pocket and keep your mouth closed. And don't say much. Yeah, yeah just the wrong thing to say. It's not appropriate. It's just not even funny. It's not, that's like not even like whatever you're, if you were being manipulative, that's not even a, a part of that type of game. Like that was just cruel and rude. And for what? What has he really ever done to you? What, he calls you a gold digger? Why does he call you a gold digger? Because you keep talking about his dick size. I mean, honestly, like, I think there's such thing as low blow and then too low of a blow, you know? Mm -hmm. And this was just definitely too low. What If she want, I don't even think, I think the little dick thing is annoying, and I don't understand why she's obsessed with it, but it's not too low of a blow, you know? Like, he has a small penis. Talking about his hand, like, what, that that's too low. Right. In my opinion. I, 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 I would agree with that. I mean, the dick thing is, like, whatever. Um so then, just in the way, same way that the monkey thing is too low of a blow. Well, even that, though I don't think he did it on purpose. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and we're gonna get to that right now. Uh, so Jessica's sleeping with Tyler. <laughs> they have different sheets, though, so don't worry. So birds sleeping <laughs> on the couch. Yeah, it's like they're not having sex. And and they're not in your bed. <laughs> Weird. Um, 
So Bert's sleeping on the couch, and here we go. Naya went and started antagonizing Jordan. She said, I saw he was drunk, and I wanted to mess with him. And she was only, like, a little drunk. He was wasted. Right. So then they start kissing and wrestling on the ground, uh, and somehow Jordan goes into his room, and Naya comes in with vodka and starts trying to pour it down his throat. Uh, apparently it gets down his throat and he starts like choking and he spits it out. Bird is in the other room yelling, Hey guys, stop, calm down. Um, and I continues to pour the vodka down. Jordan then calls her a whore and a gold digger as she's taking his wallet out of his back pocket and took money from I, him. That, I couldn't, I, Jesse, I was squeezing her like, so when she grabbed his wallet, that girl was serious. She took the wallet and then was, like, hiding it and then actually took money from him Mm -hmm. when he's, like, counting his money. She did that because she wants him to keep calling her that. That's I I believe that's why she did it. And it's just like, okay, if you do that, now here's the thing about Naya. She plays the game but doesn't play till the end. So she plays a little bit, then she brings it back, and she's like, no, don't touch me. She's the type of girl that would, like, flirt with the guy and then – this is how she keeps uh, gets money from guys. She's the type of girl that would like have sex with a guy and then be like, "Oh, he raped me." No, he didn't. You girl, you were just as drunk. You were Yeah, but you can't say that cuz that actually happened to her and like we don't know what happened. I can't. And you know, I'm not I wasn't, you know what's funny is I you wasn't weren't thinking, thinking I know, about I know, I know that you in her I past. Know. But I mean, no, a better way to phrase, I think she's a Girl, don't have a court after a court date after this because this don't look good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's a dick tease at the end of the day. And so he calls her a gold digger. She gets mad and calls him annoying. Oh, I'm so over this. This is so annoying and childish, whatever. Okay, so then you leave. Proud of you for leaving. But then you come back with the Cheerios. Why? It's not funny. No one's getting a kick out of and it. Then, you're not winning. This and is not winning. you're mad when he winning. literally spits them back in your face, you know? Mm-hmm. Shoving them down your throat. He's not spitting. She's like, he spit on me. He didn't spit on you. He's like blowing Cheerios at your face. Girl, you can't handle that. You can dish all this out, but you can't handle somebody blowing a Cheerio in your face. She slaps him, and then he, like, kind of bites her, and she gets so mad that he bites her, and then he does spit. He did spit Cheerios at the end of it. Um, And then she goes to call him a one-arm hobbit. One-arm green hobbit. Green hobbit. It's not funny. I just don't even know. I Like, part of me doesn't even want to talk about it because it's just, like, it's so... Because that's exactly what she wants is for us to, like, talk about it all day long. Well, I hope you don't want that. I, I really hope she does not want that because at the end of the day, it's like, this does not look good on you. Like, you want to be an author and live this respected life, and it's like, well, you're going to look like be portrayed a certain way on TV. You have to have that in your mindset. How are you going to go into a meeting and sell a book? And these people are like, oh, I saw you in the real world. Mm. I honestly think that's going to help her with this book. I agree, too. I mean, This one. Come on, look. At the end of the day. Not so, in the next one. Well, no, but these are the types of books that you're going to be categorized in. You know, it's like. It's that's not called being a journalist. Superhead, you know, slept with all these celebrities and, you know, put all of her ish out. It's just like, you want it? Really? That's the category you want to be in? That's the lane you want? Because that's what you're going to get. Right. And maybe the answer is yes. That is what you want. And if that is, you know what? A hand clap hand clap to her because... High five? Yeah, whatever it's called. <laughs> I'm just sitting here reading. Yo, that. hand clap me for a second, hand Jess. Hand clap. Give me that hand clap. Girl, you never heard the Noila clap? Sorry. Uh, clap, Naya clap, slams clap, clap. the clock on his head. <laughs> like, you want to keep playing like this? And then on the side playing. and the front and the side and, like, won't stop. And then finally they split up. Now Jordan goes into her room, and Naya's like, oh, hell no, this isn't happening. She pushes him out of the room. She's threatening him with a lamp. She spits on him, and then he starts beating his chest like a monkey. Which we saw him do a few episodes ago. Right. We, uh, actually, yes. If you go back to our, one of our episodes, we may, we did say take note that he did it or that he did do it because it was an argument and i i think it's his drunken way of saying oh we're gonna fight we're gonna be men or like sense. you're fooling around like a monkey right i don't think there was anything racist racial about it i, I don't mean, think so either they can come on the show and they can talk to us and tell us about you know little racist things that he might have said in the house that can lead up to that but as far as what we've seen i personally do not think that that was done 
racially i thought i think it's gonna get blown out of proportion um marlon's upset by it um and then Nia just keeps blaming Jordan. He he came into my room. He spit on me. He bit me. He's gonna well, go bitch, home. He choked me out. What about what you were doing? And she, you're like, right. Hit him if multiple if times. it was reversed, if roles were reversed, Jordan would be kicked. Security would have come in way before. Mm-hmm. But he didn't. He didn't cross the line. And the thing that really makes it sad is when she says, "I will kill you." He says, "You realize how many times I've tried to kill me." I wanted to like that's a that's a whoa moment that's yeah. a moment where okay you know what I'm messing with this kid too much like because what would you really do if he left and went into the room and killed himself like yeah what would you really do like is that really that important I don't think All he's at books? that place in his life I don't life, think he but is he, either but you never know no exactly she doesn't know yeah he says you realize how many times I've tried to kill me like <laughs> I, that was gut wrenching to me so I don't know. I just I you hope. know everybody else has come out with their big secrets and been like so dramatic about it. Was, did he sit her down and was like, one time I tried to kill myself and no, no, that it wasn't like that at all. Which means it's still a little sour, and right? Sore for him. Um, you know, I when we went to the after show, Naya was very calm. Very calm. She wasn't rowdy like she is on the show. So I wonder if she's kind of like she had that at smirk it. on the whole time. Mm-hmm. But the the interesting thing is that she didn't take that as racist, and I I do appreciate her for not taking it as racist. Um, I mean we'll talk more about that next week. So I'm kind of indifferent with where she is now. I wonder if she has watched the episode and been like, I look crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, on that note, let's head into predictions. And now, well, TV. we can't really do this just because. We, we saw next week episode. We did see next week's episode. You're going to get Naya and Marlon versus Jordan. This whole racist thing, which I don't think Naya even thought it was racist. And she's just signed up with Marlon because it's like, haha, I'm going to get two against one. And Johnny and Avery in a little bit of a tiff. A little bit. A little over dramatic, but. And I'm scared to give any other spoilers because I think we'll get sued. Right. So on that note, thanks guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit us up at AfterBuzz TV on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Remember, you can stream us live on your phones, iPads, all that good stuff. So whatever you can stream us on, you can probably catch us. Uh, so make sure you guys hit us up. You can follow us at DJ Jesse J on Twitter. At Roxy Stryer. Till next week, same time, same place. Peace. Peace. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.